But uh, we'll go back, and it's gonna be another Shadow Fiend, but this time it'll be McGraw. And he was our core player, right? So maybe we'll be- Who is coming in actually now? Dazzle. In the back, still hasted up, Moe has a charge. But with the Shackle here, he's level 2 and he's got that Disable, the Lance and the Heal! Will secure the kill! Firm lead. Of pain, Orchid, and now heading into BKB, they'll smoke up from the tier 2 at bot, and they'll look to McGraw, blink forward straight away, there's the Hex after Orchid, disruption to try and save him, but there's no real way you're getting out of this one, but the Sonic Wave flying across both of them, even the Echo Slam expended there as well. Maui and Chant Totem's gonna nice. stop that TP. It's gonna be a 3 for 0. Vega come out of the come out the gates racing. Great blink by Meg. That Fisher. Uh, tank ability, so maybe he feels like this is like that comeback item. They're gonna be sitting high ground, there won't be a lot of jungle to farm. Might get him towards something like his own glimmer cape or possibly into the BKB. Oh, oh Maui, not at this rate. The Life Strike Raid has come down with the Laguna Blade on the solo. He uses Glimmer Cape on his teammate to let the Quab escape. Fisher, the lockdown two of them on the back as the TP comes in. Pasha wants to fight. He's got a purge on Demonstration, but no way to escape. And the Sonic Wave flies across them both. They take down three already as the Shadow Shaman is the only one. But they've managed to kill off Maui. It screamed into the ground. McGraw finds a trade off there with a Dazzle. Being killed as well, and. That's uh, that little skirmish, Ember Spirit getting picked off. Pasha's TP perfectly placed. At Still least got Echo. At least the ED seemed to have come out on top. Oh, unless McGraw goes down here. Oh, that's a shame. No one loses Aegis. So with a Fisher locking in Teddy and blocking off McGraw, should be free to find another two kills. Spirit Breaker is the last one standing for the Radiant. Be a lot of damage onto this tier two on top of it. Ember Spirit in terms of your farm progression, so. Um, just get the Glimmer Cape, make it so that your PL is going to be farming more safely. You can blink in Glimmer and, and then work towards the egg. So he'll be tanking up along then. Good call there. And here we go. Yeah, I was looking at the Faceless Void Courier, but how are we going to see this? Pasha zapped down, he does get taken out. It's... Serpent Wars level 2 are down, but that's a great pick off. Uh, oh, okay, Lena's level 11. That's one thing I really didn't look at. I was just expecting her still to be, you know, down at level 9, something like that. But she's managed to pick up her level now. PQM said got in with the demonic herd of the solo. Blink available, Echo Slam. Catches Teddy, but not much else. The Sonic Wave does fly across with Mag Grave Duff. They're looking for McGraw here. He's got the Requiem as well as Nick Charges. But the Earthshaker is yielding himself up into the air. Queen of Pain gets a kill over on the Shadow Demon. Now it's time to retreat. Whoa, 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 where did you come from? Maui in it from the back end. Gets the charge kill onto that Earthshaker. But does give up his life in exchange. Teddy, uh, as well as McGraw on top. Both TP, minor items. Yeah, he still has the Akula to play with too. So it's not like he's out of slots yet. Yeah. Oh, good. Good change there. No one turns. BKD is up. The Scream Sonic Wave is going to whiff completely pretty much. But the trap McGraw inside the Serpent Wars with a disruption. Thanks for holding him in place. Forward goes the Phantom Lance and finds one kill, looking for the second. Teddy is in his sights and he'll find the Lena slowly but surely. McGraw and Adam will be the third one as the Spirit Breaker died off in the back. They've pretty much wiped them here. Pasha going in ham. Because they take down five of EED and look for the tier three. Yeah, not much uh, better places on the entire map to win a fight. Um, standing underneath the tier three tower, so they're definitely going to be at least one lane of racks. And I wonder if the Disciples are thinking about calling it right now. Well, they've got buybacks I mean, on a couple. You have to consider it, don't you? Yeah, they're going to lose two lanes of racks at the very least. The DD on the Queen of Pain is making short work of these towers. Parker, yeah, there we go. GG is called. They realize that even if they do buy back here, there's no real recourse in taking this game back. So game number two. So there you go. We're going to a game three here. I saw one of your European qualifiers. This is, this is round one. This is the start of the qualifiers. It's already panning out to be pretty amazing. Back in a couple of minutes, guys, with game number three. After that, we do have another best of three coming up later on tonight, which is going to be Golden Boys against Five Youngs. Uh, Ex-London Conspiracy is Golden Boys, and then it's Kuroki's new team.